Hello, it's your boy, Dapper the Don, and I hope you're having a wonderful day today. We've done Marvel, we've done the DCU, we've done Star Wars, we've even done Game of Thrones. And now here we are, WWE Diva tier list. That's right. We went from smashing alien cheeks to smacking down some cheeks today. Before I start, I'm going to be honest with you guys. The last time I was into WWE is when HBK was fighting Undertaker for his career. I went back to see what's new and holy shit, I don't know half of these dudes from a can of paint. I tried catching up on what's been happening. And the only people who really caught my eye is a diva who I thought was a corn star because of her name, which was Sasha Banks and Rhea Ripley, who is, spoilers, going to S tier. In terms of storylines, the only noteworthy one for me was the bloodline of the table, or something like that. Naturally, you guys already know this is just the Don's opinion. You don't have to agree if it doesn't apply. Let it fly. Now let's get into it first on the list is Sonya Devil, and she's going to be tier. I'm going to be honest, she isn't really giving anything, so there isn't anything much to say. Next on the list is Natalia, and I'm going to keep it a bean with you guys. She's old as hell, but she doesn't look like it, so we are going to put her in A tier. The ass isn't assing, but I'm liking the lips and just hope the boobs are real. Next on the list is Ronda Rousey, and we're going to put her in C tier. Bro, this girl was giving mid to me all the way back in her UFC days. The hype around her was honestly overrated and must have gotten to her head because she then had the audacity to compare herself to the undefeated legend Floyd Money Mayweather, who was like 50 and 0 at the time. Next on the list is Charlotte Flair, and we are going to put her in C tier. Yeah, not going to lie, the age showing on this one. Boobs looking like a doggy chewing ball. More muscle than meat. Cool abs, though. Next on the list is Raquel Rodriguez, and we are putting her in B tier. Again, nothing about her is grabbing me, but she's Spanish and she has a cute face, so she won't be C tier. Next on the list is Zelina Vega, and she's going to S tier. Yes, now we are talking. I mean, guys, need I say anything? She's an anime fan, she's Spanish, her face is a 10, her body is a 10, and her drip is a 10. Definitely need her to sit on my face after a hard, sweaty workout day. Next on the list is Katana Chance, and she's going to B tier. Cute face, but nothing else. Next on the list is Indy Hartwell and she's going to A tier. Shawty looks like she should be in corn. Next on the list is Scarlet, and she's going to S tier. Nah, no bullshit, this girl is baddie bad. I feel like when you think of the saying hot white woman, she's the first thing that comes to mind. Boobs looking right, ass looking right, lips looking right, body looking right. Next on the list is Alexa Bliss, and I'm going to give her A tier. Would have dead ass B and B tier, but the whole makeup thing she's got going on makes her look like Harley Quinn from the DCEU, so shout out for the carry. Next on the list is Carmella, and we're going to put her into C tier. Something about this girl face makes me tilt my head. Next on the list is Emma, and she's going to A tier. I'm liking what I see all around. I like her face, I'm feeling the boobs. I'm definitely feeling the ass she has on her. As a matter of fact, we are going to move her up to S tier. I just peep everything on her looking real natural, and here at Dapper Nation, if it ain't natural, it ain't factual. Next on the list is Becky Lynch, and apparently she must be, or at least used to be, a main event because the first time I saw her face was on the cover of WWE 2K20. That's too bad because she's giving major mid-vibes and is going to be tier. Next on the list is Rhea Ripley, and like I said at the start of this list, she's going to the top of S tier. Light work, no reaction. Clears the whole list. W everything. Major sniffing her seat vibes. Major sit on my face vibes. Major stealing her dirty laundry vibes. Some of you thought after my Overwatch baddie tier list that women with muscles aren't my type, and you couldn't be far from the truth. We are all about bitches with good biceps, triceps, trapezoids, and all that shit over here. Like I'm not asking for no Arnold Schwarzenegger and his prime type shit, but a little gains never hurt anyone. I actually wanted to show you guys the new woman Don is dating who is buff, but I can't find her profile, so I'm going to need you guys to find it for me. It's a video of her on TikTok explaining why she's single and she's going around her room showing her anime collections and figures. Basically, she's really showing things that would make any guy fall in love. Find the account and put it in the comments below. That's your homework. But anyway, yes, Rhea Ripley may have more muscles than what most women deal with, but you want to know why she's on top of S tier. Shawty got the best ass in the whole WWE. Shit really just be hanging, and she's the true definition of a goth mommy. Next on the list is Lacey Evans, and she's going to C tier. Too much American for me. Next on the list is Jia Li, and she's going to C tier. Not gonna lie, this might be the first tier list when there are more C tiers than anything else because it's giving mid. Next on the list is Dana Brooke, and she's going to B tier. Just meh when I see her. Next on the list is Piper Niven, and she's going to D tier. I see they just putting anyone in the WWE now, huh? Next on the list is Trish Stratus, and holy shit, she's still fighting. 
Not going to lie, I think they cloned my girl because she never looked like that, and I'm not even talking about the age difference. Something about her seems off, but I can't seem to put my finger on it. Anyways, I'm sorry I have to do this to you, love, but we're putting you in C tier. Don't worry, though, because if I do a Ruthless Aggression Era list, you will be higher, that's a fact. Next on the list is Nikki Cross, and she's going to C tier. Yo, chat, tell me, is she okay? Next on the list is Bianca Belair, and am I the only person who finds it wild that the black girl with the long weave special move is whipping people with that long hair? A tier. Next on the list is Maxine Dupree. I'm not seeing no ass or body period with this one, but she's cute enough to make it in B tier. Next on the list is Candice LeRae, and she's going to D tier. I really don't get it. Next on the list is Caden Carter and she's going to S tier. She doesn't even look like a wrestler, to be honest with you. She just looks like a real actual baddie. Next on the list is Mitchin, and she's going to C tier. I don't know, she's just going to C tier. Next on the list is Bailey, and she's going to D tier. Shawty's upper lip is non-existent. Next on the list is Zoe Stark, and she's going to D tier. I saw her and had to check if I'm on the right tier list. Next on the list is Shayna, and she's going to D tier. I saw her and had to double check if I'm on the right tier list. Next on the list is Tamina, and I'm not going to lie, but actually, never mind, that's the rock cousin, and I don't want beef D tier. Next on the list is Dakota Kai, and you ever see a group of girls and you clearly know who's the cutest? Well, I think we can all agree it's her, so we are going to put her in A tier. Next on the list is Shotzi, and let me tell you something. I saw the first few pictures on your Instagram, and you were about this close to hit C tier, but the more I scrolled down, you worked your way up to A tier. Next on the list is Isla Dawn, and from afar, I thought she was going to be D tier, but nah, she's a whole S tier rank, and I'm going to keep it a bean with you guys. Rhea Ripley needs to watch out for this one, because I can see her easily on top of S tier. I really like what this girl got going on, and I'm tempted AF to put her on top of S tier. Next on the list is Liv Morgan, and she's going to A tier. I don't know, it's just something about her that I like. Next on the list is EO Sky. Not the best, but not the worst B tier. Next on the list is B Fab, and she's going to B tier. Some of these girls dead look like they would be perfect on the hub. Next on the list is Alba Fire, and she's going to C tier. That's crazy for her, because her homegirl is all the way up in S tier. Next of the list is Asuka and she's going to C tier. I'm just not feeling it. Next on the list is Chelsea Green, and she's going to A tier. Am I tripping, or does she look like a white version of a young Vivica Fox? Last on the list is Tegan Knox, who is going to land on C tier with the mid-AF slam. Hot diggity dog that was a long ass list. I didn't know more than half of these girls, but it seems like the new era has a couple of baddies on their slot. Well, that will be all for today. If you have any topics you would like for the Don to help you with, be sure to leave a comment, subscribe, and hit the bell notification and like and share the video. I'm Dapper the Don, and have a good day.